Hello, hello, my name is Megan Burns and today I am going to do a continuous line demo. And the subject that I'm going to have today is a Mercado scene from Oaxaca. I have brought a number of workshop groups down to Oaxaca and it's honestly one of the most beautiful places to see, experience and sketch, right? Because it is just a color explosion. This particular Mercado is outside of the city, uh, southwest, about an hour, and it only happens on Sundays. And it is the Mercado of the Zapotec people, which um, this woman right here is Zapotec. And what's so amazing is that so many of them, I mean, the fabrics that these women wear are just off the charts. You see a lot of tartan plaid, which I don't know that there's any place else that you, like where do you see a lot of tartan plaid, right? And then they have these wonderful color combinations, right? And this is a table of apples and papaya and she's selling it to a gal. So let's get to, to the paper and let's start drawing this in continuous line. Alrighty, so I have my food a fountain pen with um, platinum carbon ink and uh, this is Canson uh, watercolor 130 pound. It's sort of middle of the road paper, right? And then I have my photo reference over here, which will be available to you. Um, if there's a link in the description and it's also, no, that's it. <laughs> okay, let's get started here without further ado. Let's see, I'm gonna just... Throw and get some papayas on here. There we go. Just some So the reason why I chose this um, particular image is it, it's the, the notion of like, um, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> uh, multiple shapes, right? Like I live in Mexico and the Mercado scenes to try to draw them can be a little intimidating at first because it's like these huge displays of, um, fruit and you know meat sometimes you see like a pig's face or something like that um it's a lot of the life here in mexico happens on the street and in the mercados right so it's very visceral you get you see a lot of life being lived right in front of you right and so you know when i first started doing it, it was quite overwhelming i wasn't even sure how to do it right and then you got like people looking at you and you're like, who do you think you are? <laughs> kind of a deal. So, um, you know, just with practice, I just, you know, keep, I just sort of keep at it. And uh, it's just gotten easier over time, right? Uh, like the Mercado scenes aren't as nearly as um, overwhelming as they once were to me. <clears throat> so I just jumped from the fruit to this woman here. <laughs> I never really know where my pen's going to go. That's why I don't, I don't really like to plan too much because um, even if I plan it, my, my pen has a whole different um, idea of how it wants to do this, right? <laughs> so there we got a whole... Uh, coin purse thing going on there. She's got some floral skirt on. Oh, I forgot to do her head, so let's do that. I think I'm just gonna go right into the hat because that's kind of what you see in her, right? Right, let's make that hat. You know, 
That's a nice big hat. And uh, you can't even see her, <laughs> which is handy, right? So just added her and I made my way back down here to this table of apples. You know what's kind of unusual about this is that it's not very organized. Because usually these things, maybe she was just setting up, because usually these things are pretty organized. You know, there's some bowls, but really this whole thing is just on the table. So I'm just doing a mosh of, uh, not even, I can't even call them circles. There we go. Now she's got a very lacy shirt on. So I'll just put some of the design there. Let's see, I hope I left enough room for her, her deals. Cause that's super amazing <laughs> about Oaxaca is just the fabrics that you see. There she goes. Yeah, I got enough room for her. Uh, yeah, I would have liked to have given her a little bit more room, but sometimes, actually I'll just move the table because the table would come out here. So I'm just gonna move the table like this. All right, so that's how we solved that. Because these ladies are, um, they're very tiny. They're like four foot something, <laughs> but they're kind of wide, right? So they have these like, these beautiful fabrics. And they all look brand new. They all look like they don't even, like they haven't been worn. Like they're all very pressed and um, neat and tidy. And these women are like slinging food and stuff, you know, in the Mercado. They're not just like sitting around posing. <laughs> oh God, wait, I'm too afraid to do her face that way. There we go. Okay, I gotta be a little quiet right now because I'm doing her face. <laughs> I don't want to wreck her face, right? So there we go. Um, a lot of it looks like Christmas patterns too. A lot of it is like red and green, but that, those are the colors of Mexico, Mexico's flags too. But these, you know, these folks down here, they're definitely, um, indigenous and you see more of like their own uh, do I dare say patriotism than you do yeah here's her hand oh yeah I kind of messed up her hand didn't I look at that <laughs> oh well um, I'm just going to put some bowls here because there's things going on here and I'll put a knife. <laughs> there we go. All right, there we got some fruit here. I got the gal there. All right, and we got some people back here. Now, she's kind of a regularly dressed gal, but I'm going to turn her into a Zepotec because um, that's what I'm here for. All right, and then I'm gonna, men are in cowboy hats here. <laughs> yeah, so what you gonna do about it? And then I'm gonna put another gal here. And um, I don't 
all kinds of like diagonal stuff here. Mm. Molina, so which means grinding and plants. Pots. And I think I'll do a, um, hmm, let's see. I wish I hadn't done that, but oh well, I can just go right over it, because here's, there we are. Okay. I'm just adding another lady right here, because I can. There's her bag. There's her apron. And there's, now this gal is not going to be in the photo reference because I'm making her up. Um, but I think that's the beauty of a um, continuous line. Like the more I just get comfortable with it, the more I just like, I'm just gonna add to it, right? There, they're very tiny, right? And so the, here's more of the tartan plaid. Okay, so I drew her right over the plants, right? And it doesn't even matter, right? Because um, uh, there's some sort of word here and I'm just gonna make it up because I can't see it. So I'm just gonna put estrella, star. I don't even know why. I'm not even sure what it says. I think it may say restaurant, but I'm turning it into another word. So it, it's actually the word I'm making is star grinder. <laughs> Whatever. You can do that when you're the artist. Oh yeah, I didn't just space this enough, but that's all right. That's all right. Okay, so let's see here. I actually wanna put some more fruit there, why not? Yeah, yeah, let's stack it up. Even though it's like, there we go. Okay, there's my, um, there is my Oaxaca scene. Yeah, I would have liked to have her, here I can actually make her a little bit bigger because these are big gals. They're not like messing around here. They don't like their photos taken either. That's why oftentimes these photos that I have of them or from the back because they they do not like photos and um, they'll let you know. So at first time I went in there, I was like, click, click, click. Uh, but then I learned because uh, they yelled at me. <laughs> so you have to be sort of, you just have to be a little bit more incognito about it. Okay, so the thing that I, the lesson I must learn over and over and over and over and over again is not to cover up my lines because I work so hard at them, right? But first thing I'm gonna do is just get her hat, because look at that. All right, there's that. I can't use really dark lights, um, dark colors, because um, <laughs> I, I will then lose my lines, and I don't wanna lose my lines. I work very hard for my lines, and... Uh, no, and because it's papaya, I am going to add pink, right? There we go, a little pink. Right? Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. And then, um, apples. I'm going to make... Let's see, I think they're a little, yeah, they're not like red apples. No, I think only like the weird grocery stores you see that like true red. When you get out to these like where the real food is grown, <laughs> things are um, different colors, right? There we go. 
<laughs> oh righty, so I'm gonna start uh, very gingerly because I don't want to lose my lines. But she is wearing plaid, and that's very popular down there. I didn't have enough. That's all right. I'm not even gonna point it out that I don't have enough for whatever. <laughs> It doesn't matter, right? Because I'm not, I never am like match the photo, ex oops, match the photo exactly, right? I don't, I believe in, you know, I believe in the practice of practicing with photos, right? But um, it's, I don't believe in the whole matchy match thing. I just think that that, that gets you, I like to infuse my own creativity into these things, right? Even though I'm sort of matching, matching here. <laughs> it's all right. <clears throat> okay, let me do, I mean, I do like the color combo of tables and vegetables and everything, right? So let me get some of this down there. And, um, No. There we go. There we go. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Already, it's super fun, right? Uh, let's see. For this gal, I'm going to do a blue. I mean, the colors down here are, are wild. And um, I hope you can come with me someday or just just go there on your own, right? Because it's, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, there's a lot. Of... <clears throat> Let's see. Start getting some green in there. Um, let's see. Pot, 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 pot. <laughs> Let's see, I'm gonna put down some, uh, oh no, that's got, let me change that. Okay. Hey, that's not, I always like to make Mexicans brown because they are. some of that tartan plaid going on here because <laughs> it's really it's amazing just to see how much I mean somewhere somehow they got like a ship <laughs> a boat that was destined for elsewhere but now it's just part of their culture and it's just um, it's amazing to see I'm gonna put this gal in uh, pink a little too wet there so I'm just gonna give it a little bit more time 
let's see, let's put her in a red shirt. Because why not? I think she's wearing a white shirt in the photo, but <clears throat> you know, I like to mix it up. Actually, it looks nice with all that, right? Um, <laughs> wait, let me make this gal. <sighs> You know, this is where I can always go over and do too much, and I don't want to do that. I want to just kind of keep it. Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> is, it, is that crazy enough? I think so, right? Um, the only thing I want to do is I want to make these people stand out a little bit more because they're super interesting, the people of Oaxaca. There we go, and then, um, you know what? <laughs> I think I'm going to call it right there because i could go keep going and it's just i'm gonna lose sort of the freshness of my lines like i did here because i was trying to stay true to the tartan plaid and while it's okay i feel like if i go heavier i will start to lose my lines right but you can see my lines here on the fruit and you know papayas and the plaid there and just some details back here and some folks here and I feel like I just, I'm gonna call it, right? Like this is a Mexican Mercado scene. Everything's going different directions. There's colors, there's lines, there's people. And um, while this is pretty subdued, it's got that interesting perspective, right? The papaya is big up front going into that thing, into the, I mean, some of these Mercados, even though they're outdoors, it can be kind of dark because they've got all these tarps and everything, to protection from the sun, right? So there we have the Mercado scene from Oaxaca. <laughs> so yeah, okay, let's take a look at this. Today's Mercado scene in Oaxaca. You know what? I um. I have to remember to sign things, right? So I'm gonna sign this. Here, you can watch me. I'm gonna sign this right now. I need to do that, remember to sign my thing. Sometimes I forget. Not sometimes, I always forget. And I remember once I, I someone bought my painting and um, they, I, I had, they asked me to sign it in front of them and I went to go and I completely forgot how to spell my name. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me finish this so I can uh, make sure I get my, what is my name? Megan Burns. There we go. I signed it with my Instagram name. See that there? Megan Burns. All right, look at this. Um, you know, uh, the thing I just, first of all, uh, practicing my drawing here in Mexico is, it's, it's cool because everything's crooked, nothing makes sense, but it does make sense, right? So um, I just love the the just the freshness of the energy of the lines look there's the fruit i messed up her hand i was trying to put some money in it look i even gave her eyelashes i didn't mean to do that there's the people in the background the cowboy hats and the zapotec uh scarves and rebosa this is a oaxacan woman uh but she may be coming from the city right because she's taller and the zapotec women are very i felt very tall when i was there um, and then here's another gal scooting by, right? I have her face in the flowers, but it doesn't even matter, right? Because it just gives a sense of like things in motion, the papaya table, right? Little pink, little orange. 
my like I said my my challenge is to keep the colors light so that I keep my lines because I work very hard for my lines and I know those of you that are doing continuous line are working hard to keep your lines too right so it's an ongoing thing it's a practice right like you win some and you don't win some but either it doesn't even matter so it's all good fun okay thank you so much for chiming in Please feel uh, free to do this in your style and share it in the Continuous Line Storytelling Group that's on Facebook, but it's also on Instagram too. So follow, tag, you know, all that stuff that we're all screaming at you to do. <laughs> follow me, hit that button, subscribe, the whole deal. Thank you so much for being here and we'll see you next time. Bye.